Yay, we're live. All right, guys. So Marion and I decided that this is, we're just all hanging out today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very relaxed uh, event for today, and um, we're just going to go with the flow and, um, you know, just talk. We already, you know, we have a couple ideas of what we're going to talk about, and we're just going to keep it really relaxed. And, um, you know, I'll start off with my prayer. And then she's going to read from the um, the sigil cards. Um, she got a really great message, and um, but you know, and then we'll talk about trust and Libra and full moon. So um, I'm going to start with my Archangel Michael prayer. Love that prayer. Just uh, I just think it's so powerful. Uh, the first time I heard it, I was just like stunned. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's. And this is a prayer of protection, so it's just kind of, you know, just kind of protecting our our little, you know. And you pulled hangout. his card yesterday too, so very. You pulled his I card. Did, we were yep. talking about yeah. that. I always. I'm um, now. It's all the time. All right. So, light's protection manifest, <clears throat> holy brotherhood in white, light of God that never fails. Keep us in thy perfect sight. I am, I am, I am, protection's mighty power. I am, I am, I am, guarded every hour. I am, I am, I am, perfection's mighty shower. Manifest, manifest, manifest. Lord Michael, mighty and true, guard us with thy sword of blue. Keep us centered in the lights, blazing armor shining bright. Around us blaze thy sword of faith, mighty power of holy grace. I am. Invincible protection always pouring from thy dazzling rays. Amen. Amen. Hey, we got Ayurvedic Shakti with us this morning. Oh my goodness, yay! She's come, I, I was watching one of her videos yesterday, <clears throat> and just a beautiful message she read from Doreen Virtue's uh, message of the angels. Oh, I love those. Just you know, very compassionate, you know, just I see this very soft energies coming in, even though there's, it's kind of a duality, it's kind of like a yin-yang type of I thing, agree. so I'm, I'm thinking this full moon in Libra, and this has just come to me, guys, so I'm, I'm glad she came and triggered this, this is from the records, because I'm already in my records, but it's talking about how we need to balance these these energies. So on one side, we have this beautiful, divine, feminine, loving, compassionate energies. And then on the other side, we have these masculine, very strong, fiery, Aries, you know, um, individual, um, talking about us, you know, what what are we doing? What are we, what are our perceptions? Uh, focusing on ourselves, on the individual, as to how we are going to move forward and create this balance in our life. So there's this loving energy that is there with us. I just saw Bella Ducati's full moon video, beautiful. Aphrodite came out. Um, uh, Raphael came out the unicorn with rainbow energies came out so there's like a lot of new creative energies out there so I think what's happening is we're being bombarded we're like being pulled to you know like they're they're like I, I could just see that we're being stretched out on the one side they're yanking us because they want to take all the junk out of our lives that we no longer lead. And on the other side, they're pulling us towards this ever expansion and this creativity. So it depends on how hard you resist, if you're going to be torn in two or if you're going to go with the flow. Um, and so we've got Tony and we've got Sylvie. Um, I, oh. Oh, I guess she changed her thing, Sylvie and Jay. I do want to do one shout out. She, I am so proud of Sylvie. Because uh, months ago, I told her to really start her own thing, and she has created her own nonprofit. So I know it's called, oh gosh, it's on my website. Sylvie, give me the name so I can give it out. But I know, I think it was called UNO, UNO, like a united effort of all races, uh, all backgrounds, whether you're Latin, whether you're white, whether you're black, whether, you know, to be able to really create um, equal knowledge for everyone and um, in, in both in the immigration system and in other systems. Yes, it's called UNO, you know, UNO, uh, obviously one, and it uh, stands for United and Organized. 
So you go, girl. I am so wow. proud of you. Amazing. I just wanted to give that shout out because I really want to support her. She's got a Facebook page, and I know her website. She says it's going to be coming up soon. So if you want, post in the comments the website so everybody can see, Sylvie. Oh, you know what, though? Some, they won't let you post the website on there. Oh, um, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, so maybe we can, okay. um, once this uploads, you can put a link to it. Yeah. Now, or you could go to my Facebook page because I've already liked them, hmm. but it's you know united and organized. So bravo, bravo for you! It's the new creative energies, and I'm so happy to see that those that we've worked with, you know, for you know, as uh, I was talking with Debbie uh, today about. Um, you know what she, what her role and my role is within these full moon events and um we were kind of like gosh i don't know if we're really prepared for today what we're doing and i said you know what i decided i was just going to trust in the universe and that the information would flow out as it needed to so i'm really feeling these messages coming through very strongly right now you guys so uh, i'm sorry i'm rambling but i really feel the strength of the akashics talking so um, we are in a point of, I wanted to, let me, let me go ahead and start with the angel sigils. These cards, let me tell you, these are really profound, working at a soul level. They work through the Akashics because I can feel it. The first time I did that reading for la over the weekend, I'm like, I'm not feeling this too much. And then when I started doing the reading and afterwards I realized, oh my gosh, they're so profound. They go to this really, really deep level. So I said, you know, give me a little guidance for today as to, you know, what's happening and, and what is our focus uh, when we're talking about trust and faith. How do, you know, how do we do this? How do we achieve it? How do we tell people about it? And the card that came out is Joe Fiel. And his cards have been coming out a lot. And I know when Debbie did her reading, she got the same card. And we were both discussing, what does the Last Supper have to do with wonder? <laughs> like, how does that relate? Exactly. So, I'm going to read to you from the book because I, obviously I, I don't know them all right now. But it talks about how in this famous painting that this signifies the ending of one era. Because it's the Last Supper. Well, I guess, okay, that makes sense. The ending of an era and the beginning of a new. And it talks about how we're, we're in the finality of the Piscean Age and entering into the Aquarian Age. And therefore, the divine feminine energies are, being coming, are coming through into our lives now, into everything. And we must see things with compassion and empathy. And this really ties in with this full moon in Libra with these Aries energies being involved because we have Venus, the Sun, Uranus, and Mars all in Aries. They're opposing the moon, which is in Libra, and it's in a T-square, so it's kind of like, you know, like this, uh, with Pluto and Capricorn. And what does that mean for us? That means <clears throat> that, um, that in our relationships, there's going to be a lot of like, fiery energies like people are going to really push your buttons and it's really the time for you to go within and decide is this the person that i want to be with are these the people that represent who i'm becoming uh, is are they going to be supportive and what i'm my creativity and my inner self is talking about so this is why your inner self going within and this being a moment of self-reflection to know what it is that you're going to be doing and knowing who you want around you to support you. So, and to see these relationships, whether you're going to let them go or keep them on in love and compassion. And when you have a higher perspective, because I pulled a card for myself today and it was the Eagle King, again, from the wisdom of uh, the Hidden Realms with Colette Baron reed and that means you have a higher perspective, that you're flying above. So go into the higher perspective of yourself, see things from a higher viewpoint, and that way you can tap into the love and the compassion to understand if you need to let something go or to rework it into a new thing. So and and the so it says here, Jophiel's heart sigil is asking you to behold the wonderment of your own life, the chorus of superlatives that may be occurring through your soul's journey, as you let go of the pain of the past and.
be ready to receive the joys of the future. And that as we let go of the old patriarchal paradigm um, and, uh, uh, and going towards the do divine feminine energies of love to really it says to chant awe through our heart chakra and to be enriched by this quest of wonder. So, so go forth with wonder, allowing things to be gently released, what no longer serves. And the universe, uh, another point I got, the universe will, will not take from you something that you need for your growth they will it's only going to take from you what no longer serves you so if it's going out of your life let it go because it's no longer serving you you can't get something new in which is better if you don't let go of the old stuff wow that was really powerful <laughs> and i just pulled uh michael uh oh. sovereignty of course oh my god i pulled it too but i didn't bring it out <laughs> All right, so I'm going to read it to you guys because obviously he's coming through um, or, you know, wanting to, you know, it's important for us to know. So it says, <laughs> just as the exquisite Christos wore the crown of heaven, you are reminded of the ac acquisition of your own sovereignty. This is received through initiation upon initiation through the many rites of passage in life that will allow you to contemplate your soul self. And the great I am presence. Are you in alignment with the sacred aspect of your soul's ascending nature? Or are you circling a fertile void of uncertain expectation? Whichever it may be, say a prayer and a chant to Michael, beseeching the presence of this divine one's heart by looking at the sigil. And immediately you will feel a charge of, oh, where did I go? Ba, 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 ba of supernal strength, particularly at this time of unique development within the life of the galaxy. For Michael leads the heavenly host and you to the fruition of your soulful glory. Chant ha through the Anahata, your heart chakra, to charge the dynamo of your heart's secret chamber, the very throne and empery of your soul. I mean, this guy, he's, he's so, oh, it's amazing, these cards. I don't know. Tony just said that she pulled the sovereign for today in her reading. Oh my God. So you have to be the sovereign of your own life. This is what they're telling us. Um, you know, for, for a lot of us readers, um, we are uh, such givers that we don't put ourselves first. But I think since Aries signifies the individual, this is the moment for us to really put ourselves first, to, um, to decide what you know what is right for us because we can't do anything for anyone else we can only do it for ourselves and um like i i i lost my train of thought earlier when debbie and i were talking about um a lot of us are being called to learn new things and also to teach so a lot of us are in the hierophant position and what does that mean? That means that, remember that even though we're teachers, we are also somebody else's student. We've learned what we know from someone else. So um, a big part of this is uh, just teaching as you go. And I think that all of you do that with those of you who have channels and you post your videos. And, um, you know, you just have to go with your heart as to what serves you first and then uh, allow it to the message to be received by whoever, you know, whoever needs it is going to see it, you know, and who's going to find it. So. All right. So I'm going to, um, I'm just going to read my message that I got. It's a, it's a little lengthy, but, um, I think it's, um, I liked it anyway. So, um, and this is me just asking whoever, I don't, I don't know who I get the messages from source, my higher self, um, and it says, um, and I, you know, I just wanted a message to say, you know, for people who are at a point, no matter what religion you are, no matter what faith you have, whether you're Christian or you're Buddhist or you're Wiccan or pagan, or you know, or you're in, you're you know into Santeria or Palo, um, we all have a point in our lives where we lose faith and we're just like, you know, you just frustrated, 
And um, and so I asked, I say, what what do we do to keep that faith? What do we do to make sure that we believe that whoever our our deity is, um, that we believe that they're really supporting us and, and they're always there for us. And then this is the message that I got. And it says, um, Hail, dear one, we speak of trust. Trust in the universe and source to be the soft place to fall, to support you in all ways and be aware of all your needs. Sometimes you believe in only what you see, but you don't truly see what is hidden behind the veil. You are supported in all ways, but you must come to us. If you do not trust, then we cannot help. See us with your other true vision, and you will see the truth. Open your mind. Open your eyes. Open your soul to us. Don't be blind. You know there is more to life than what you can see with your eyes. Do you not? You would not be here now if you didn't believe. Source can help you in ways you cannot even fathom yet. Help comes in many different ways, but you cannot, ex cannot expect it to come your way, what you believe that you want. But you are not always correct about what you want, dear one. <laughs> we give you what you need. Is that not so? There are boundaries as to how much we may aid you, boundaries that you made before you came into this incarnation. I know it's hard to believe, but even so, it is true. So we help you in what ways we may help you, chosen help that we can give you chosen by you from the beginning. We are here for you. We wish only the best for you, beloved. Ask your guides, your angels, your ancestors to help you trust and believe in them, in source, in your I am presence. We are we were all created for you. Can you imagine the scope of those words? Think upon them, for they are true. Wow. Gorgeous. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's what we feel, you know, the thing is, is that we think that everything is going to come to us. Like if we just ask for things or if we just want something, it, you know, that they're just going to come flying down and fix everything. But that's not why we're here. We're here to have our own learning curve. We're here to have the difficult times. And, you know, um, and, you know, when, when things are bad, we don't want to believe that. Like we don't care, you know, um, and we just get upset. But we have to understand that these are parameters that we set on our uh, in our lives and they can only help us as far as we allowed them when we came into this incarnation you know we set parameters as to how much they could really help us because we have to learn our lessons and um, as hard as they are and they can be really really hard they can be humdingers and you know it's 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 how you react and it's how you learn from those lessons um, that just helps you move along and you know they're there backing us up and you know in in certain instances we told them you know what you can only help us this much you can only help me this much in this situation and that's why they can't always be there the way that we perceive that we want them to be so um, you know nothing comes easy that's <laughs> that's why we're human because nothing comes easy and we have to earn everything well, I was thinking about um, just now about our intuition, and I, I just want to get, I wanted to share something that I found, um, it's also about getting out of our own way, because, <laughs> you know, we really limit ourselves, okay, we put the, the brakes on, um, and um, so the other night, this was like last Friday, and I said, gosh, you know, I really, my, my, I just have this feeling, you know, my true calling is really to do these live readings and to be, you know, connected. Like you say, when you do a reading, I know Debbie's the first thing she says, I got to see them. I got to talk to them. I got to Skype them. I got to feel that, that energy. Talk, for, to them on the phone. To talk on the phone. I have to have that connection. You know why? Because that connection is soul to soul. And it really um, when you have these two energies that come together, we've always said it and we talked about it in the twin flames, when you have these two energies and they come together, it's exponentially exploded. So by being in touch on this soul level is really what opens you up to more, um, to more uh, abilities, to more, uh, it just, it just, 
it takes it on a quantum leap yeah. to the next level. And um, so when I was uh, so Friday night, I went to be bed and I just just talked to my angels. I go, gosh, angels, I need somebody who does marketing who knows about stuff. I just need a little help because it's not my forte. And I really want to do live one-on-one -on -one readings. I need people here in Miami to, to, so I can practice, so I can do these things. But I just went to sleep and I just left it there in the universe. I said, okay, Michael, go ahead. This is your job. <laughs> okay, <laughs> figure it out. 10 o'clock the next morning, I get a text from a girl who uh, she does like henna tattoos and stuff like that and there's an event here in Miami it's called the full moon party and I had been invited to go before but I, I just couldn't go it was raining and I had the kids and you know it just didn't work out it was like in January that I wanted to go and she's like they're desperate they need a reader please can you call the organizer she's my friend and she's been desperately looking for someone so I said, okay. So I call, I left a message, you know. By the afternoon, I was able to talk to this lady directly. She turns out she's a marketing expert, of course, right? She's starting this new online green reference for people here in Miami. She's, you know, like my age, she's 50 years old. She says, look, you know, I'm not going to go to the discotheques and, you know, it's, it's not my thing. So this is why I started these full moon parties. She does it free. So her, 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 what she gets paid is by tithing. Whatever the vendors that are at the affair, you know, if they make money, they have, you know, they tie to her a, a certain percent. So and she goes, but if you don't make that much, I'm not going to take it from you. So it's, you know, it's really up to you. It's a donation basis, which I thought was awesome. And she says, this morning at 5 a.m., I was praying for a reader. I said, oh, well, last night I prayed for a marketing expert. So. <laughs> Oh but I just God. thought, look at that synchronicity. That's crazy. So, you know, it's getting out of your own way and giving it to your angels. Say, look, I need this. Can, can you help me out? This, I want to be of service to more people. You know, give the why. Why do you want this? Mm -hmm. And really feel it because I really, really want to help others. I really want people to know about the Akashics. I want people to know about live readings. And I said, Okay, I need to think out of the box. Let me, you know, I've got YouTube, I've got Facebook, but I, I need that interaction because yep. I think that's really going to help me be it better, does. you know. And you know that because Debbie's been doing it. She's running around all of New Mexico <sighs> with her cards in her hands, you know, assaulting oh the Chick-fil-A girl. I know. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, uh, you know, and they're telling they're beating me up and, you know, I was you know, especially that older guy. I was just <laughs> That's exactly the one I was thinking. I'm like, tell the story because I think it's great. Oh my God. Well, um, I decided <clears throat> to, um, t you know, to take my cards to an eye doctor appointment and I figured I could fiddle with them while I'm sitting there and waiting bored. And um, I started doing the cards and I felt the need like um, somebody needs to be read in the room. And I was just like, okay, that, you know, that's fine. So, you know, there was this cool hip lady, you know, in her 60s, and, you know, you could totally tell she would be like, oh my gosh, I'd love to do it, you know, and and they were like, no, no, it's not her, it was, an, you know, finally there was an older gentleman, very quiet, um, he was with his wife, he was, you know, you could see the way he treated her, he was very respectful, very old school, and, um, you know, he was Hispanic, and, you know, a lot of the Hispanics down here are Mexican, and they're very Catholic, based. And anytime I try to read for somebody who's Catholic, it hasn't, they're turned me down. They're like, no, you know, I don't feel comfortable doing that. It's against, you know, my beliefs. Um, and um, so, and I was still fighting with it. I was like, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to embarrass myself and have this guy tell me to bug off, you know, and be like, uh, you know, crazy woman, get away from me, you know. And they wouldn't stop. And I was like, I was hoping, I'm like, wait, hoping he would leave, you know. But, you know, he was, it was the wife who had the appointment. So he was sitting there waiting. And I'm just like, oh, once I figured it out. And I was just like, okay, fine. Uh, that's it. I can't handle it, you know. So I go, I walk over to him and I'm like, you know, excuse me, um, 
you know, I'm a, a card reader. I read tarot cards. And I thought, you know, right then and there, he was just going to tell me to bug off, and I would just be like, great, I'm done, you know. And he's like, I don't know what that is. And I'm like, oh, gosh, what? He doesn't know what it is. I said, you know, I, you know, you ever heard of tarot cards, you know? Um, he's like, no, I've never heard of them. I don't know what you're talking about. And he's really like, you know, he's being so sweet. And so I was like, look, let me go get this my crazy lady. Yes, I know. And I was just like, oh, this guy, you know. So I said, okay, please, let me just go get my cards. Let me get something and show it to you. And so I had already pulled the cards, thank goodness. So I, you know, I pulled them out. And um, the one of the cards that I pulled out, I believe, was St. Cecilia. And it's about music. And I was like, you know, does this mean anything for you? Because it doesn't mean anything to me. I'm not musically inclined. I don't know much about music. Music. so I had to ask him and he says oh he looked at me and he's like well I play every instrument that there pretty much there is and I was like oh my god <laughs> and so then he was like then he was comfortable with me then he relaxed and then he understood I wasn't crazy <laughs> um, and you know we read the other cards and he was just telling me how each card meant something for him and it was oh, so hard to do because I don't like, you know, like anybody else, you know, you don't like to be rejected or, you know, you don't, you don't want people to be like, oh my gosh, no, because when you tell people about tarot cards, all they can think about is the death card. <laughs> Out of the whole pack, 70 <laughs> cards, all they can ever think about is, oh, I don't want that, no, don't, and the devil card, no. You know, disregarding the whole 70 other cards. So, um, you know, and that's, it's it's not, it's definitely out of my comfort zone, um, you know, in a way. Like, if it, if it would have been the gregarious older woman, right? oh, it would have been great. It would have been no problem. That would not have been out of my comfort zone. But having to read for him, oh, man, I was, I was so embarrassed. I would have been, like, so embarrassed if he had turned me away, but... You know, you have to, you have to do, you know, you well, have I to think, just get out of your box. Well, I think this is the whole point of this story is that you trusted mm -hmm. what your guides were saying. You trusted your intuition because they were telling you, go to this guy. This message is for him. And by you trusting yourself to say, okay, breaking that comfort zone, you know, going out, your guides are going to push you out of your comfort zone. They're going to push you into expansion. And this man needed to hear this message. He was ready and, you know, he, like you said, he knew nothing of what tarot card was even no. about. He had no clue. But the message resonated mm -hmm. because you followed your intuition and you followed through and trusted that what you were being told is what you need to do. So this is a great example. I love this story because I thought it was so apropos for today about how we're learning little baby steps, big steps for us because to go out of your comfort zone is like you're taking a leap off, you know, the wall of China. And, but it's these little day to day uh, moments that we that come into our life where we are allowed to push the envelope and if we are in touch with our inner self and our guidance from source that we will expand not only for ourselves but for others allowing them to be enriched and expanded by the interaction and that is what these new relationships of of the Aquarian age are all about is <clears throat> as we trust ourselves to interact with others from a loving place then we will allow and bring forth those divine feminine energies to elevate everyone this man probably went back and said what the hell is a tarot I gotta look this up yeah no doubt you know that man went back and looked it up he just said, honey, I've, I got to get a book. I, I've never read about this. <laughs> you know, I don't know about this. Oh, we've got some comments. Full Moon Magic 8 loves your turquoise necklace. I told her this morning. Girl. It's stunning. Yeah, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. 
those oh, those blues. It. You know what? And your aura is purple because I see like purple around the blue. And I saw it the other day when you did that video that was like very fuzzy. It was like yeah. I don't know what time in the morning you were doing this thing. It was oh. like night, and it was like fuzzy, and you were complaining that you had spots because the sun was coming yeah. in. You were so illuminated. I, I that's saw. That's what everybody it was, says. I don't know. It was amazing. I said, do you see this aura on this woman? She's got blues and greens and purples. And this is the other thing we've been talking about. These rainbow energies yes. are so coming in. Bella t uh, pulled the card. Uh, Bella Ducati pulled the rainbow card with this gorgeous rainbow out of the pot of gold with the unicorn. Um, I've been getting messages about rainbow colors. I've been seeing rainbow colors around myself, around other people. Um, I want to talk. I want to give a shout out to Lady Naya because if you have not seen this girl's post, she is like freaking on fire. I love it. I look forward to her her daily comments and her insights, and uh -huh. it's just. Uh, just coming from a love space that is like so resonating. I just had to tell you that, um, Lisa, because it's really you're just like what this girl's gone to another level. I don't know I what know, you're doing. And I have you just I tapped know. into that inner source, baby, and it is flying. I, I know. Love. And I have to. I have to check out. She's. I, I told her. She was like, you have to check out my post. I'm like, I'm going to. I felt so bad. I was like, because I. I'm not a Google. I have to really get into the Google thing um but i'm gonna check out i'm gonna check out her post because she we were talking about that yesterday you know that she's been doing some great posts on there yeah. so you guys check it out yeah yeah for sure great stuff um i don't well, know does anybody have a question or you know i'm supposed to do a live reading i think i'll just do one for for glammy <laughs> all right yeah and um well and while we're while you're doing well we get into that anybody who's watching or who watches after the broadcast um, you know, feel free to leave a donation on Marion's site, www.kashikinspirations.com. It doesn't matter. It could be five bucks. We don't care. If, you, if you're getting something out of this, if you're enjoying it, um, it just kind of gives us like a nod, you know, like, oh, okay, you know, we're, we're going in the right direction. People like this and appreciate it. Um, and so I just wanted to throw that out there. All righty. Um... I'm going to go into my prayer. Oh, another thing um, I just want to mention that I've been doing, and maybe it'll be of help to others. Um, I looked up on on YouTube, and I got um, 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 some YouTube videos on Qigong. That's Q-I-G-O-N-G. I, I was telling Debbie about it. And, Tony, you know you're always getting that yoga, meditation, and Me food. Too. All that stuff, we're always getting it, folks, because oh. you know we don't do anything. So, <laughs> so yesterday, I have to give an example. Yesterday, I woke up and I was like Ugh, dying. I mean, my, I had a, a bunch of teenage boys packed in my house the entire weekend, and I was cooking at midnight. They had gone to a music festival. I was exhausted. Okay, I was like, I cannot move. I even got my daughter up late for school. Like, I usually get up at 5.30. I got up at 7.30, and I was like, oh, we got to go. So I said, oh, no, I can't do this. I can't do this one more day. I said, I got to do something. I think it's a seven-minute or eight-minute video. It's uh, Key Gone with Lee Holden. He's this, you know, very cute, blonde-looking guy. Very easy exercises. It totally balanced me in eight minutes. And as I sat down and I started writing in my journal to kind of let the energies flow, and all of a sudden, I was completely energized. I wrote my blog. I posted my picture. I mean, I did like all kinds of things yesterday. And I was like, wow, 10 minutes ago, I thought I was going to like drop dead on my bed. And now I'm like, you know, zooming with this great energies. The, the way that it works, it's so simple. It's just like, okay, lift your arm up. And you're like, okay, and breathe. And it's, it's not strenuous at all. Mm -hmm. But by the end of it, you are like supercharged. It's amazing. And so today I did two videos. I go, I, gotta, I need a little, a little <laughs> oomph, a little, you know, uh, surge of energy to, to go through. I wanted to be really on for the, the event and just allow things to flow. 
and it's really really helpful so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna write it here I'll see if I can um, uh, if you look oh if you look in my playlist um, I have a Kigon playlist and I have another gentleman who's by the ocean so it's like really relaxing let me tell you they're a little tough by the end you're like your legs are shaking and it's it, it's just breathing techniques it, but it's because the energy that you're generating is super flowing through you super flowing so all right, I'm gonna go into my prayer real quick, and then we're gonna we're gonna see what comes through for Debbie today. Cause I have a feeling that there, I'm supposed to do a message for her. All right, I ask God if He will have a shield of love and truth around you permanently. It's only God's love and truth will exist between you and me. I allow the masters, teachers, and loved ones of you to channel through me out of whatever realm to say whatever they wish. I ask the permission of the Lords of the Akashic Records so I'm able to look into the records of you and remove whatever information I am allowed. All right, um, I'm seeing, <laughs> you're going to have to like walk the streets with those cards, girl, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I see you walking into, to like, I don't know if it's like a yoga studio or um, just these circles of people. And I, I see you doing these readings just like like they're going to be calling you in um, to to read for, for them. Um, I don't know if it's like like a Tupperware party of girls or if it's, you know, yeah, something like that. Like a spiritual party or a yoga, par uh, yoga studio. Um, I'm seeing like, um, yeah, I just see these groups of women. Mm -hmm. And I see you coming in and doing your readings. And that's going to really, th th these things, because every time you do one of those things, one of these readings that are impromptu or that, that are live for you, and I know this is true for me when I do the Akashics, um, it really, it really energizes you. It really opens you that this is what you're supposed to be doing. And it's going to um, allow other things to come in allow prosperity to come in allow you to expand in these new directions that you hadn't even thought of before you know um uh it, it just yeah i see it as being this is the way to go i, I see it opening the doors sorry i've got like major allergies today i see it opening the doors for um like uh um, it, like uh, gosh, it, the words coming to me in Spanish. Uh, who's coming through in Spanish? That they're talking to me in Spanish. One of my guides. Yes, one, one, yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay, one of the Orishas is coming through, and she's going Jadlas, Jadlas, which Jadlas are, are talks, you know. But they're coming through in Spanish, talking to me, and I'm like, uh, okay. Uh, well, let me let me switch to Spanish now, and yeah, oh. And that is, the, <laughs> I see Yamaya. She told me Yamaya. Um, yeah. Oh, I know what's going to be happening with Yamaya really soon. Um, there's something happening in Miami towards the middle of the month that's going to be a real big surprise around the 17th <laughs> period. So, um, yeah, Yamaya is coming through. They're waiting. Uh, she's waiting for that time. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's gonna. Oh, oh my gosh! I just see it like um, you're walking by a place in the ocean, and that is gonna be amazing, amazing. The people are just gonna be surrounding you and going, "Now read me," and "Now read me," and "Now read me," type of thing. 
you're going to get so much. Uh, I mean, they're just going to be clamoring for you, clamoring. Like, I need a reader here. Like, way, you know. But and you're loving wow. it. You're going to be totally soaking it in. Oh yeah, totally. So, <laughs> so oh, really? Uh, <laughs> and then um, let's see what else comes through. I, yeah. I'm going to ask for a message for the group. So sorry, my sometimes my neck gets a little tense. Um, as to what we can, you know, what 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 can we know today about? Uh, trust and faith and and see who wants to come through and what their message is for us let me just go into my records quickly looking for my cards they're telling me my cards all right they're telling me angels of Atlantis Oh God! I was just going to pull from mine. <laughs> I love when they work. They tell me. I love when they tell me. Google it. <laughs> yeah, they'll tell me if I'm looking up something or not understanding. They're like, Google it. Yep. Oh, nice. Zad Kiel's coming through with gratitude. Mm -hmm. So we have to be really grateful that we have. That we have tapped into our abilities, that we are are um, really walking in the light, um, that everything is coming to fruition and uh, being abundance, complete abundance, and just that green heart centered energies of um, of really appreciating. All, all that, all that we have here. We have a great community. We have such beautiful people that are watching us and watch us every day. And you know, the, it's really a privilege and an honor to be, you know, a spiritual teacher and to be a guidance and to uh, also learn from all of you and and look at your expansion because your expansion and your growth is is inspirational to me. You know, like when I saw Lady Naya, Messiah Curry, Tony's Tony's new that she's doing like the the spread like uh, Tarot Oracle does, and you know I, I'm loving it because I really feel her connection to the cards when she throws that way. And the next card, the other card that came out for me was Uriel, and Uriel has been really present for me lately, and the card of freedom freedom to be and do what we want Uriel is the is the Archangel of enlightenment he's the one that shines the golden ray that leads us on our path and he's leading us to this this complete freedom to be who we are meant to be so that's the message I get for us that's that's trusting through gratitude having faith and knowing that our, our our freedom is is wrapped up with Uriel's enlightenment, and I and I got a message of enlightenment today that I was telling Debbie about, and um, it really it's really resonating with me right now. And I just wanted to go in and just kind of check one thing when he talks about freedom, and it says. Um, it says to free up your thinking and feeling for you are the only jailer that may be keeping your consciousness prisoner every aspect of your consciousness is a choice and if you make an inaccurate choice choose again that this is the meaning of the word mistake if this is what you missed take again this time by liberating the conviction of your love for self you will spring your soul from its prison. Ask Uriel to show you how alternative choices, because they resonate of pure love, they will also free you from your thought jail and take you to consequences you may never have dreamed of. So allowing yourself to ask the angels to help you, what is my choice? What else, what is an alternative to this situation that I'm in? What else can I do? And they will come and they will light the way for you to be able to expand. And by trusting in what they're telling you, that this is how they're gonna show you trust and faith 
by you by you asking for help and they're going to answer you. All right. Well, I think we did pretty good for winging it. <laughs> yeah, right. It's, a, it's been an hour. You know, I think, Debbie and I could like talk till, till we could. Till, till I, I didn't even think home. we would make an hour. I was like, can we just stretch like it top an hour? Minute? You know, so you know, it, 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 as usual, it turned out perfectly fine. So, yeah. all right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it, and um, we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.